We will now describe the different types of hospital microbes, such as Staphylococcus, Colistrium difficile, blood-borne pathogens, hepatitis, and HIV. The Staphylococcus aureus bacteria has been around for decades, but while some S. aureus bacteria can cause my mild skin infections, other strains of the bacteria can invade the bloodstream and bones, leading to serious and deadly infections or amputations. Increasingly, the S. aureus bacteria strains are becoming resistant to antibiotic treatments. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, M-R-S-A, is a microbe that can live up to six months on objects and is resistant to methicillin. There is even a stronger strain. Vancomycin-resistant Staphylococcus, or VRSA, which is resistant to vancomycin. Clostridium difficile is a severe infection of the colon, often occurring after the normal gut flora is eliminated by antibiotics. Treatment involves stopping some antibiotics and commencing specific anti-clorosterial antibiotics. A new and effective treatment involving reintroducing gut bacteria to the patient. Alcohol does not kill C. difficile. However, vigorous hand washing will remove the bacteria. Disease-causing microorganisms are present in the human bloodstream. The transmission of blood-borne pathogens can occur in a healthcare setting. This type of transmission would be considered nosocomial. There are two types of blood-borne pathogens that are of concern to hospitals or healthcare facilities. The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, and the hepatitis B virus, or HBV. HIV can cause acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS. Some patients are asymptomatic after exposure to HIV and can remain asymptomatic for up to 10 years. Others can be asymptomatic, yet blood tests will always show they were exposed. In some patients, it may take up to one year for results of blood test to become positive for HIV antibodies. HIV can affect the CD4 plus T cells, therefore affecting the immune system in a host. The T helper cells, or T subscore H cells, also known as CD4 plus cells, are a type of T cell that plays an important role in the immune system. General symptoms are weight loss, muscle and joint pain, glandular pain, and swelling and night sweats. The affected person may be asymptomatic after exposure to HIV for as long as 10 years. It may take up to one year for results of blood tests to become positive for HIV antibodies. Hepatitis is a viral infection 
that can be caused by many factors such as physical injury, bacterial infections, adverse drug interactions, and viruses. There are five viruses identified. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and G that specifically attack the liver and cause viral hepatitis or inflammation of the liver due to a virus. Viral hepatitis inflammation of the cells of the liver can be acute or chronic. Hepatitis A virus or HAV is spread by oral and fecal transmission. Hepatitis B or HBV, Hepatitis C or HCV, and Hepatitis D or HDV are spread by blood or body fluid transmissions and are often chronic. Hepatitis E or HEV is spread by oral and fecal transmission. Hepatitis G, or HGV, is spread by blood or body fluid transmission. Hepatitis G is a relatively new discovery and is a form of liver inflammation caused by the hepatitis G virus, believed to be a distant relative of the hepatitis C virus. HBV primarily causes swelling, soreness, and loss of normal function of liver. Blood will test positive two to six weeks after symptoms develop. Symptoms of HBV are weakness, fatigue, anorexia, nausea, abdominal pain, fever, and headache. Untreated hepatitis will lead to jaundice seen as a yellow skin color. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our all access pass where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.